Hey Turtle Squad, Kame Turtle here, bringing you another Turtle Time. Today, we are talking about how not to interact with fursuiters, aka mascots for the normies who are watching this. So yes, this applies if you're going to a park with mascots running around, or to your local fur meet or convention, and see a fursuiter. Now, this is not an end-all, be-all, all comprehensive list. Because for every example I'm going to present here, there's probably like two or three more that can be tagged on. Now, if you actually know the first shooter and you have their direct permission to do any of these things, great. But this is just in general speaking. All right. So first of all, if you're going to approach a first shooter, do it directly from the front. Coming from behind or to the side of the fursuiter, they can't really see you. Of course, they can't see you directly behind them. Oh, they have mom eyes, which, in which case, they have eyes in the back of their head. But even really do, chances are they can't see you through all that foam. Reason why they can't see you from the side is because they got a little blinder on their eyes with the fursuit. That's a fursuit's perspective. Nine times out of ten, anyway. Next thing we need to know is not to approach a fursuiter with fire. Heat actually damages fursuit. And that's why you should not be putting your fursuit, if you have one, into the dryer. Most fursuits are made out of fake fur that's actually a plastic base and plastic melt. So don't approach them with fire or anything too hot. This one just came from a comment I saw when I posted this, but it was too funny to not include. Do not randomly run up to a fursuiter, jump on their back, clutching yourself like some type of human backpack, looking at a horse crop and shouting, On to the dealer's den, my mighty steed. That was just funny. Don't do that unless you directly know the fursuiter and they are okay with that. Another thing you should not do when interacting with fursuiters is approach them with dicky hands. First thing I'd say not to do with fursuiters is come at us with those sticky hands. I mean, let's say you've been eating something like ice cream or sweets or something, and then you see an ultra cute fox coming towards you. Please don't go towards them being like, ooh, sticky hands, and get it all in their fur because, you know, that stuff does not come out easily. So, yeah, first one, definitely don't come at us with sticky hands. If I find that you've gone and put, you know, sticky gross stuff in my fursuit, I'm probably going to be quite upset with you. This one should go without saying, but it's something that we have to keep enforcing. If you want to give a fursuit a hug, belly rub, a scritch, a boop on the snoot, anything like that, make sure to ask their permission. Do not just randomly do that. The person inside the suit might have an issue with it. Always ask permission. The fursuit is not permission. The fursuit is not permission. A lot of y'all think it is, is not. For you super tall, strong people, if you see a smaller fursuiter, do not just randomly pick them up and carry them off somewhere. Even if you just pick them up where they're standing and sit them back down. Do not do that. Most of them do not like that when it's done randomly. Even if it's done directly in front of them, they still get panic attacked. And don't get me sorry for they who grab them from behind. Bad gigantor. Oh, I love this! Dude, you could've really damaged my ear doing that. This suit wasn't a disgusting patch job, that would've been a really big situation. Just saying. Well, I can't really think of anything else off the top of my head. If you can't think of another situation, and that I did not subscribe here, let me know in the comments below. After talking about what not to do with fursuiters, and you want to see more fursuiters, I would recommend you check out my Midwest first. Fast 2019 collage linked in the cards above and description below. I want to give a big shout out to Shrapnel Varger and Candy Jack who submitted some clips to be used in this video. You can find links to their YouTube channels in the description below. Be sure to check them out later. When you do, tell them the turtle sent you. Oh, there's one more thing I should mention. And if you want to see more fursuiters with original species involved, you can check out that video where I talk about the top five original species in the comments below. Check it out. And if you like what you saw and want more, 
subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications when my next video airs. Leave a like or maybe a comment. Share with friends, family, other furry friendos you might know. And I hope to see you all next time. Johnny!